Hi, this is Sunny Solanki and you are tuned to Coders Column. This is the third video of our course on i5 widgets where I will be explaining how you can link two widgets in Jupyter Notebook. Once you link widgets, when you change the value of one widget, it will change the value of another widget as well. This can help us synchronize the values of widgets. This can be useful in various situations. To explain with simple example, let's say that you let user provide input of a parameter through two different widgets. One is a text box and one is a integer sliders. So when user provide input through text box, the value of the slider should reflect that change. And when user change the value of that parameter through slider, the value of text box should change as well. So in this kind of situation, you might want to link two widgets so that they are in sync. Right. So that's what I will uh, explain you in this video. So without further delay, let's get started. Right. So as you can see on my screen, I already have a Jupyter notebook open. And at the beginning of the notebook, I have highlighted important sections of the tutorial. So there are two different ways of linking widgets. One is with using a Python as a backend and one is using a JavaScript as a backend. So when you are using a Python as a backend, you will need to run IPython kernel behind the scene in order to keep the link alive. So that's the one thing. And with JavaScript, you don't need a Python backend to be running in the background. And if you download a file as a HTML file, and in that case also the widgets will be linked to each other because it's based on a JavaScript. So there are two different ways to link. Now linking can be either one way or it can be two way. So if it's two way, both widgets will be in sync. And if it's one way, then value of one widget updated will change the value of another, but the vice versa will not be true. Okay, so let's get started. So first of all, I imported uh, IPA widgets and printed the version. So in our first section, we will explain how we can uh, link two widgets using Python as a backend. First of all, I will uh, explain two way linking. So in order to link uh, two widgets, there is a function named link, which is available from uh, IPA widgets. So in our first example, what I have done over here is that I have created two widget. The first widget is text box, which is an integer text box. And then there is an in slider. So I want to link do these two widgets. So when the value of the text box changes, the value of the slider should reflect that. Or when the value of the slider changes, the value of the text box should reflect that. So in order to link, I have called link function over here. And to that function, I have given two link, uh, two tuples. So first tuple is our first widget x and then value. So this is the parameter of that widget or attribute of that widget that we want to link with the second widget. So when the value of this widget changes, which is the value uh, attribute, then the value of the second widget y, its value should change. So in this example, though we are linking value attributes, in upcoming example, I will explain how you can link other attributes as well. So all right, so this way we can create a link between two widgets. And then I am calling a display function to display two widgets. So let me execute this line of code. Now, as you can see in text box as value five and slider. So let me change the value of this text box. And as you can see, as I'm changing the value, the value of the slider is changing. Now let me change the value of slider. And as you can see, if I change the value of the slider, the value of the text box is updated as well. So I can change like that as well. And it will change the value of the slider. So this is the two way link. If I change any of the widget, other widget is getting object updated. Now I can set the value as well like this. So x dot value if I change, so it will change the value of the both the widgets. Though I updated the text box, same way I can change the value of slider and it will change the value of uh, text box as well. So that was a one example. So here is one more example of uh, linking two widgets, two way linking. So what I have done, first widget is a drop down and it has a three options. Option one, option two, and option zero, one, and two. And the name of these options are option one, two, and three. And indexes is zero, one, and two. And then I have in slider which starts from zero to two. So uh, based on the in slider, the option will be selected. And same way again, I have linked the value attribute of both the widgets using link function. So let me execute this and show you. So as you can see, the option one is selected, which is 
in slider 0 if i take in slider to 1 option 2 is selected if i take it to 2 option 3 is selected same if i go over here and select option 2 over here value of the slider will be 1 so both of these widgets are in uh, sync all right so before we move on to one way linking let me explain you one more example so in this example i am linking multiple widgets so first of all what i have done i have created three int text box which is minimum maximum and step value so this can be used to specify minimum value maximum value and step value of int slider and then i have a text label which will show the value of the slider and then i have a slider in slider is created so in this case i have created four links as you can see so over here as you can see first of all i have linked x1 so which is in text the value of it with the minimum value so min attribute of this slider so when i change this uh, x1 slider it will modify the min value of in slider and then i can in the for the second link i have linked the text box in text box with the maximum value and for the third one i have linked with step values and for the fourth one we are modifying description so let me execute this and show you so as you can see now i have a one two three and four text boxes and one slider so as you can see the slider starts from zero and if i want to start it from two let's say if i change it to two it will start from two I can take maximum to let's say 12 so it will start from 12 now as you can see step size is 1 so it will increase by 1 2 3 4 5 6 now if I want step size of 2 I can change it to 2 now let's say it will go from 6 to 8 to 10 8 6 as you can see and I can modify the label of this uh, int slider as well using this label so this is one more way of uh, linking as you can see you can link multiple widgets like this all right so let's move on to next section so in this section uh, so in our previous section as you notice that it was a two-way linking but you might not always need that you will you might only want one way of linking so for that there is a function named dlink right so let me execute this line of cell and as you can see i have again created text slide uh, text box and integer slider and then i have linked them using dlink function now in this case the linking is one way so if i change the value of this text box as you can see the value of the slider is changing but if i change the value of the slider the value of text box won't change because it's a one way linking it's from first to the second so this is the one way linking and here i have again created our previous example where we had a four text boxes and one slider and this time i have used dlink function so ideally in our previous example uh, though we use link function uh, we can get away with this dlink function because all the links were one way uh, it was not two way so yeah so that's again again we can change the values over here and check that whether it's working or not and as you can see one way link is working just fine right and here is the one more example of one way linking so what i have done over here is that i have created a checkbox and button and this time i have linked the value of this checkbox with the disabled attribute of this button so what happens is that so let me execute it if i select this uh, disable so the value will be true this time and that will set the value of disabled attribute of button to true so it will be disabled as you can see now button is disabled if i unselect this the button is enabled again okay so that's how you can link widgets now if you want to unlink the widgets so the link that we are maintaining so as you can see two way link which we are maintaining so we can call unlink function on it so let me execute this now as you can see the two way two widgets are unlinked and if i go to this two way link example two way link python which was our first example as you can see this is the two way link now if i change the value of the widget it won't ch change the value of the other widgets same if i change the value of the slider it won't change the value of a text box so you need to keep reference to link in order to unlink them later on if you need to unlink it right so let's move on to next section 
all right so in this section i have explained how you can link two widgets using javascript as a backend so again we have a two sections where we will explain two way linking and one way linking so first of all in our first example i have explained how you can create a two way link so the only difference from a python backend linking is that instead of a link function you will be using js link function so that is the only difference so i have recreated our previous example where i had a link uh, text box and slider so let me show you that so as you can see now if i change the value of this uh, text box the value of the slider is changing and vice versa is true as well yeah so if you want javascript based link so if you are planning to you download this uh, jupyter notebook as html and then you want that widgets work then you should use a javascript based linking all right so that was a two way link and in order to create a one way link using a javascript backend the function name is jsd link so yeah so let me recreate this example and in this case if i change the value of text box value of the slider is updating but if i change the value of the slider the text box is not updating because it's a one way link in the same way we can unlink widgets so we can call unlink function and that will unlink the widgets all right so that's it for today's tutorial in today's tutorial i explain how you can link widgets in jupyter notebook if you have any doubts or any question then please feel free to let me know in the comment section if you liked our video then give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and see you next time